Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. And if it's your first time here, thank you so much for stopping by. And uh, if you haven't already, please hit the old subscribe button. So today I am at Ox Sable Aqueduct. Pretty cool little scene, wintery scene. We got the uh, got the lock keeper's house in the, in the background. Trees, wood, snow, contrast, texture, color. All that good stuff, character, charm. So, uh, yeah, just out here this morning, it's about seven o'clock. Uh, no sunrise at all today, it's just murky, cloudy, gloomy. It's what we've had here for the past couple of weeks, actually. Uh, but I'm gonna try to get a couple of shots. Um, probably gonna end up being in black and white, maybe a square crop. Uh, but uh, we'll see, we'll see. Every time I say it, it's going to end up in black and white, it ends up in color. At least lately, that's how it's been going. But I really do see this image as a black and white image. You can see how the the water and the ice, that's, that's pretty cool. I love that pattern. Might not be a square crop. It might not lend itself to a square crop, but, but we'll see. So uh, I've got my D850. I've got my 2470 Sigma lens. I've got a uh, 20 millimeter prime. Nikon lens just in case I needed to get a little bit wider. I also brought my 70 to 200 Sigma today because uh, a lot of times there's deer and some wildlife out here so I thought I'd bring that as well as my D500 and uh, see if I can shoot some wildlife but not see anything so far. But uh, so I'm going to get a set up right now. This is pretty much my first composition. I really like it. And uh, gonna shoot this. Then right behind the camera right now, there's there's a bridge and there's a stream, and it's coming in together. It's joining in. The water's like coming down the the hillside, and it's coming under the bridge. So I'm probably gonna shoot that <clears throat> just just for just because I'm here. Honestly, um, it's not a super image, but. Uh, just want to shoot it. I think it, it'll be nice. It'd be really, it'd be a lot nicer if there was more snow, but some of it melted off. So, all right. So I'm going to shoot the uh, lock keeper's house right now with the pond and all that. We'll shoot this, uh, whatever you want to call it, behind the camera, behind you right now, and uh, then we'll find a couple other shots. Then we'll uh, get out of here. So, hey, thank you very much for stopping by the channel. It's my pleasure to see you. And uh, it would help my channel out quite a bit if you hit the like button um, and hit the subscribe button. If you hit the like button, it generates the algorithm so the videos get seen more and get put up in front of people more and then hopefully people will like it and uh, subscribe. I'm at like 900, a little over 900 subscribers and uh, closing in on 1,000 which is a nice little uh, number to hit in the YouTube world. So thank you so much for your help. And uh, here we go, gonna get started. Well, two developments. I don't have my 2470. I have my 20 millimeter prime and I've got my 12 to 24 Sigma that I always use for my real estate work. I do have my 70 to 200 that's back in the truck, but for this spot right here, all I'm using is the uh, the 20 millimeter prime Nikon lens. So I'm at f11 right now, ISO 100, shutter speed was uh, one eighth of a second ish. But uh, the other development was this tree is really in my way. And because I'm much wider than I wanted to be, because I don't have my 2470, the tree's definitely in the way, and I've got much more of the foreground in my image. So, I'm going to try to work that to my advantage. So I'm going to use this tree here to, f to help frame the image. And there's also some rocks and like boulders right here, right down below me. You can't see it right now. But because I'm so much wider than I thought I was going to be, I'm going to use the trees up here and the boulders. They kind of act as like a uh, an anchor point. 
So you use those as, as uh, in the image. So you have the boulders, then the pond, and then the house, and then the trees, and the empty sky. So I'm going to try to make uh, lemons out of lemonade here. Or wait a second. You know what I mean. Sailors passing on the street, are you ready for peace? Mm -hmm. Ships are filling up fast, are you ready for ease? Mm -hmm. Forget bad memories and Leave those hurt and knees behind Birds are filling up the sky, are you willing to try? All right, so with this shot, I am purposely going to stop up. I'm going to go up to 18, 22, put my ISO down to 64 to uh, squeeze out the longest exposure I can get. I want to get that water just kind of smooth and running and kind of dreamy-like. So, uh, yeah, see, you can see the, both the bodies of water ver coming together. You got the creek over there. You got the... Or, this is actually just more water runoff from melt. And then you got the creek here. Um, and they're converging, combining together. And I think that'll make a pretty cool image, especially with the uh, old bridge behind and that uh, tree with some character uh, sticking up right smack dab in the middle. So that's the image that I am going for. And uh, we will see, it might be a two-shot vertical panel like I was doing the other day at uh, Silver Springs but uh, but we'll see all right well here here we go many more will come many more under the sun back your finest suit we will keep it steady we will be the confetti If we fail we just reboot All right, so now I'm done on this side of the uh, aqueduct. So I'm gonna walk down there, cross the bridge, come back this way, and there's I'm going to use the uh, path that's covered with snow right now. Use that as a as a leading line going right up towards the uh, the house up there. May split the difference if I can. Have the uh, the water on the right half of the image in the foreground. Have the path on the left side of the image, both leading in. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. There's those tan grasses over there sticking up out of out of the snow that'll add some texture and some contrast and some warmth to the image too at least that's how i'm seeing it from this side when i get over on that side we'll still we'll see if i still see it the same so all right so we're gonna walk down and cross and back so Class is green around this side All right, so we're on the other side now, and eh, I'm not loving it. I'm not in love with it. 
it's okay. I've shot it landscape orientation. I've shot it portrait orientation. And, uh, yeah, it's, I don't know. It's not as good as that is what I thought I was going to get when I came over here. But it's not bad. And sometimes when you get back in to Lightroom and, you know, you mess with it a little bit, you end up liking it more than you thought you did out in the field. So I have a feeling this might be one of those shots. But anyway, I used the boulders. You might not be able to see them, but there's some boulders right there in, in front of my camera. Um, and the warm, tall grasses, right, to bring some warmth and some texture into a, an otherwise very cold image. And then, you know, the ice and, this, and the water and the snowy path and uh, all lead to right into the house. Now what would be really cool is if it was like dusk and there were some warm lights coming out of the windows in the house, you know, now we'd be talking. And if I was any good in Photoshop, I probably could just do that in Photoshop, but I have no idea how to do that. So, all right. Just wanna watch them stars fall But you don't wanna try to make up dreams Just to be seen I wanna lay here beside you Go quiet Fire breath in open sky It's not all we know it's where we go Alright everybody, hey, thank you so much for stopping by the channel today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the images. Hope you had a good time. Hope you share it with your friends. I hope you hit the old like button. That will help me get to a thousand subscribers. And if you've not already, go ahead and hit that uh, subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you're notified as to when my next video is going to come out and uh that is it for today i am garrick and i am your best friend in the whole wide world so hit that like button hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next time thanks everybody we'll see you bye bye I've never been so ready